In this problem, we're told, at the instant a race began, a 65 kilogram sprinter exerted a force of 720 newtons on the starting block at a 22 degree angle with respect to the ground. A, what was the horizontal acceleration of the sprinter? And B, if the force was exerted for 0.32 seconds, with what speed did the sprinter leave the starting block? So let's draw what's going on first. So imagine this is gonna be our starting block, and we know the sprinter is gonna exert a force of 720 newtons at 20 g, 22 degree angle with respect to the ground. So imagine this is gonna be our force, right? And so it's gonna be 720 newtons because it's gonna push him off this way. And we know the angle is gonna be 22 degrees with respect to the ground. So this is just a drawing what's going on. And so keep in mind what they're asking. Let's start with A. So A is the horizontal acceleration. So you need to know that force equals mass times acceleration. And so keep in mind we're solving for acceleration. If we divide both sides by M, we get A equals F over M. So what we need to do is find the force in the horizontal direction and then divide it by the mass because we're trying to find it uh, horizontally. So notice how our force right now is given in just the vector. So we need to find the horizontal component. So let's go ahead and do that. So you know that the cosine of an angle is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So if I label this side x, that's the adjacent side of the angle, so x over 720. And then if we multiply both sides by 720, x right here is going to be equal to 720 times the cosine of 22. And so that right here is going to be uh, our horizontal component for the force. And so if you do this, you're going to get 667.57. And so keep in mind, this is Newton's. This is going to be the horizontal uh, force. And so now that we have the horizontal force, we can find the horizontal acceleration. So we just take this number, 667.57 Newtons, divided by our mass in kilograms, and we know the mass of the sprinter is 65 kilograms. If you go ahead and do this, 667.57 divided by 65, you're going to get about 10.27 meters per second squared. Right. So keep in mind we're using Newtons in kilograms, so it's in meters per second squared. So this is going to be our answer to A. So let's start with B, or do B now. So if the force was exerted for 0.32 seconds, with what speed did the sprinter leave the starting block? So for this problem, we're going to have to use kinematics, right? Because we're trying to find uh, the speed, right? The initial, or the, the final speed. So let's write down what we're given. So what are we told? So we know the time interval of this is going to be 0.32 seconds. So they tell us off the bat, right? And so keep in mind, this is going to be horizontally, right? So our acceleration... Uh, we just sound, right? Acceleration equals 10.27 meters per second squared. What else do we know? So when you think about it, right, the sprinter is going to start from rest, right? Because when the sprinter, before they press on it, they're going to be in rest. So we know V sub zero is going to be zero meters per second, right? So he's going to go from rest and then 0.32 seconds later, he's going to leave the starting block and he's going to do it at some speed, right? So I'm going to say that equals V, just some velocity. And that's what we're trying to solve for here. So if we use kinematics, uh, we're going to solve for it. So the equation that you should probably use is V equals V sub zero plus A times T. Uh, this is just the easiest one. So if we go ahead and solve for V, right, we're trying to find the speed it leaves the block or the person leaves the block. We know V sub zero is zero plus A, which is 10.27 times the amount of time, which is 0.32 seconds. So essentially V is going to be equal to 10.27 and then multiply it by 0.32. So if you go ahead and do this, uh, you're going to get that V equals about 3.2864. So you can round this however you want, but 3.2864. And then keep in mind our units, meters per second. Right, so this is going to be the velocity and your answer to B. So B. And so yeah, answer to A is 10.27 meters per second squared. Uh, your answer to B is going to be 3.2864 meters per second. You can round this however you want. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be how you solve this problem.